Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Now in the previous video we were talking about suicide. We were talking about depression, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, any of those things that take you to a dark place in your mind. Okay, and these videos are to let you know that it's okay for you to feel what you're feeling. It's okay for you to think what you're thinking and we're going to work through it. You know, if you guys can send me comments or emails or something, guide me to how I can help you. Okay, because the hardest part about this whole topic is that we're made to feel bad that we have these feelings. You know what I mean? We feel guilty to have these thoughts or to have these feelings at all. The, the people around us, if they knew, they would make us feel bad because if you have parents and they love you and they've dedicated their life to you, they can't understand where you are right now. You know, they feel that their love should be enough. You know, but what you need to look at is that you're in a place right now because of something that you've been through that's caused you great pain. There's something in you, you know, that you've been through in the past, in your childhood, somewhere back there. There's something that's caused you great pain. And these thoughts and these feelings right now are trying to lead you to that moment. They're trying to take you there to look at the truth of it. This is where this is all coming from. This pain is so intense. This pain of not being wanted, this pain of being invisible, this pain of not being worthy, deserving, good enough. All these feelings that put us in a place where we just don't like who we are. We don't like our place in the world. We don't know where we fit in. All of these feelings, when we believe we're not worthy of love, when we believe that we're not good enough in some way, they take us to this place of pain. We've made this decision about ourselves. And this pain is guiding you right now. It's, it's taking you, it's leading you by the nose in this direction, down this road, this very, very dark road with these very, very dark thoughts. And the truth is for many of us when we're in that place, we feel that the pain will stop if we end it. The pain will go away if we end it. And I'm here to help you look at that pain. Look at how you got to this point. Because I can see it now. But I'm talking, this was over 20 years ago now that I went through my very first depression and I was in that place where I just, I understand that pain. I know that place. And you just feel like you'd do anything to make that pain stop. You just don't want to keep living in that pain anymore. You know? But if I'd have done that, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now, letting you know that it's okay for you to have your feelings and it's okay for you to be thinking what you're thinking. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, everything out there tells us that it's wrong that we shouldn't have these thoughts, that we shouldn't have these feelings. But you have them because you've come to a point in your life. You have, you've just come to a point. It's all just climaxed in this one spot, in this one point where you just don't see. What's the point of going on? What is the point? What is on the other side of it if I go on? You know, is there gonna be just more pain? Is it ever going to end? You know? What is the point? So you've just bottled it all up and here you are right now where you just don't see another way out. You get to that point where there's no hope left. You feel like it's never going to change. It's never going to get better. But I'm here to tell you today that whatever you're thinking or whatever you're feeling, It's okay, it's all right, and you're not alone. You know, so many of us have been through it, but we just, 
Like I said, we feel guilty to say that we felt this way or we feel ashamed because we have people around us that love us and it means if we say we feel this way that we don't love them the same way. Our love isn't as good as theirs. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're saying, well, I don't want to, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to stay here anymore. It's kind of like saying, well, your love's not good enough. And that's not the truth of it. It's got nothing to do with the people that are around you at the time. Whether they love you or they don't love you. It's got nothing to do with that, how you got to this place. Because you can have a million people that adore you. But it won't stop you from feeling or thinking these thoughts once you go down that path. And the reason is because you've forgotten who you are. You don't know who you are. You don't know. You've decided to believe that you're not good enough in some way. You've decided to believe somewhere along the line by what others have said, by what others have done. You're not good enough. You're not worthy of love. You know, maybe you're being pushed to do something you don't want to do. It's okay to feel the way you're feeling. Please don't ever feel ashamed. Those feelings are there for you and they're letting you know that there's a pain in your life. There's something and it's stuck in your way now. It won't let you through. You have to make a decision. <laughs> It's stuck, it's gotten so big, it just won't let you through. You can't ignore it anymore. It doesn't want you to ignore it anymore. It wants you to look, to really look at it, for the truth of it. You know? Anyway, I want you to think about that today. Because you have so much to give. So much, so much love so much of you to give to the world, so much. And one day, just one day, you'll find your way, you'll find your way, you'll find your path. But you have to find out who you are first. You have to look at that pain. You have to look at it. And understand why it's there there. What have you decided about yourself? This pain is there, not letting you through, clouding your mind with all these dark thoughts. Think about it. Who are you? What have you decided about who you are? All right, my darlings, I want you to really think about it. Who are you? In your core, who do you think you are? Because the answer is there. All right, my sweethearts. I love you so much. I wish you could all see what I see. All right. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. Okay, my darlings. And please share because you never know whose life this video might turn around. All right, sweethearts. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.